while ago on this channel, we made modern Disney princesses in The Sims 4, and today we're gonna do the same thing with villains. For this cast challenge in The Sims 4, we're gonna come into Create a Sim, create Sims that resemble Disney villains, and give them more modern outfits. The outfits are gonna be inspired by what they wear in the movies. Obviously, we don't see them wearing anything else, but we'll put a spin on it using Sims 4 custom content today. So let's start off with one of my favorites, Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil is the villain in 101 Dalmatians. She's a glamorous, evil fashionista who can't live without fur. So we're gonna start off giving our sim a name, Cruella de Vil. For our traits, we're obviously gonna go evil. It's literally in the name. Maybe we could do art lover for her fashion side. Let's do snob. So she's an evil art loving snob. Sounds kind of like Cruella. And for her aspiration, this might be kind of difficult because I have a feeling most of these are going to be positive aspirations. Let's do public enemy. Makes sense, the sim wants to be a famous criminal. Okay, let's start working on the appearance. So we're gonna remove the hair for now. Our skin tone is going to be very, very pale. We're gonna go maybe like the most pale we can get. And first we're gonna change the eyebrows. So her eyebrows are pretty dark. She's got the iconic white and black hair. This sim already has like villain eyebrows like pointing down like that. You are gonna be perfect. I think for now we can try something like this. For her eyes, I'm just picturing like the Emma Stone version of Cruella, personally one of my favorites. I'm gonna use this crazy eye preset that I downloaded recently. Don't worry, it's not gonna be this cartoony. We're gonna bring the lid down, bring up the bottom lid. This sim is looking way too happy. We're gonna just have to do that <laughs> for now. And we'll change the eye color to, I think she has blue eyes. Let's do this one like a turquoise kind of color. I think that looks nice. We need to change the mouth so bad. Maybe we can do something like this, but again, we're gonna have to get that smile to go away. I might stretch her lips out a little bit this way. And for her nose, I think I'm gonna go with this preset. We'll bring it out a little bit, play with the jaw. And with the skin detail that I was using in the last cast video, I'm obsessed with this one lately. We're gonna do that. I played around with the lips a little bit more and I think she's looking cute. She's no longer having that like nice big smile on her face. Let's give this sim some lashes. This is also a new addition to my custom content collection, these dream girl lashes. I'm obsessed with them, they're so fluffy. I don't think I'm gonna use them as much as I did in the last video though. Okay, we're gonna try and find this sim some hair. This is gonna be probably the most difficult one because her hair is so iconic. It's got that half white, half black. We do actually have one in game, not custom content. It comes with cats and dogs, which is pretty iconic on the Sims team's part. I might use this. We'll see how it looks once we have the makeup on and everything. And for her makeup, I noticed that a lot of the villains have like a really red lip. I really like this one. I like the liner that comes with it. Oh, she does have a beauty mark too. We're gonna go back into skin details. I'm just gonna use like an in-game one. There we go. And for her eyeshadow, I wanna give her like a smoky eye. Again, going back to the Emma Stone look. This is a recent one that I really like. Let me see what color options. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll give her a little bit of blush, maybe with the highlight there, and let's see what we can find for accessories. There are definitely gonna be a few options I could use in here. I downloaded this entire pack of jewelry, and it's kind of overwhelming a little bit because there's so much of it in my game right now, but I could see Cruella rocking something like that. Definitely a choker, ooh, even that one with the lace there, or that in black. I think maybe that one. We'll see. We'll flip-flop between the two. Okay, let's get this Sim an outfit. And for her outfit, we're gonna probably stick with like a dark aesthetic black, red as well. She does wear like red gloves. And it has to be something very like fancy, very high fashion. I do have a coat. I have a fur coat somewhere in here. We need to use that. She's all about the fur coat in some of the movies. The one interpretation of Cruella where she like literally just wants dogs to make a coat is the darkest thing ever. <laughs> Ooh, what if we, wait, that's kind of a look. Underneath there is a dress that I could see Cruella wearing like that there with the coat on top and that is kind of a look. Wait, then we give her the red shoes. Maybe those there? And we have to give her the red gloves. We have red gloves and get to work. That's perfect. I am kind of not loving how her hair is clipping with that coat and how my boots aren't really showing the top of them. So let me see if I have another dress and then we can change the hair a little bit. Okay, what about this? We've got the stripes on the top there 
there. I like how that looks with the coat and everything. Let's go see if we can find a hair that we can just kind of fix with the coat there. I know I have a couple that look like regular swatches, but then I have like an add-on in face makeup that changes it. I also have this one. Like the hair is still clipping a little bit. I feel like she still does need the iconic bangs though. This is how it looks with the rest of it. I mean, I don't know. I can't sacrifice the coat. I can't do it. I also have this one, which like is still cutting in a little bit, but with just the white bangs at the front, it's kind of like a different look. Okay, let's go with this one. It is more of like a modern look. That's what we're going for today. We're keeping it Cruella DeVille in her modern attire. I love this outfit. I think she looks so cool. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be, let's do Captain Hook. I've been really trying to make my male sims look better lately. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, this guy with his white eyebrows, if he had green hair, this is just a random sim, by the way. He's giving Oompa Loompa. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Moving on. Captain Hook is the main villain in Peter Pan. He looks quite dapper most of the time, but don't let that fool you. He basically wants revenge on Peter Pan, who cut off his hand and fed it to a crocodile. Honestly, I kind of get it. But anyway, all right, our name is Captain, last name Hook. <laughs> For our traits, we definitely need to be child of the ocean. We're gonna go evil again. That's what makes them villains here. They're probably all gonna get evil. And for the third one, let's do materialistic. He's a pirate, loves the gold. And for that reason, we could do one of the fortune ones. Maybe this sim wants to be fabulously wealthy. Okay, let's start working here on the face. We're gonna remove the hair, remove the facial hair for now too, just so we can see what we're doing. And let's change those eyebrows. So I always say how bad I am at making male sims, but in my last video, you guys were loving the male sims that I made, so now I feel a little more confident. <laughs> I think we should go with like some crazy brows like this and hear me out. They're gonna look a little crazy, but I think we can get them to look good. We're gonna change the eye shape for my preset. I'm kind of thinking one of these. I wanna do a really dark eye color and we're gonna play with the shape a little bit. I'm gonna make them slightly bigger and pull them apart. Playing with the shape a little bit, like bringing up the bottom lid. For the nose, maybe we use this preset here and we can go in and adjust here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Captain Hook does have a very distinct nose. We're gonna bring the bridge of the nose out a little bit and I'm gonna start to adjust the chin. We'll bring that in a little bit, bring out the jaw and I'm gonna change the lip shape maybe to something like this. I'm trying to like adjust the top lip a little bit. Okay, I adjusted a lot, but I think I'm finally happy with the face shape. Let's start to add the facial hair. Captain Hook does have a pretty iconic mustache. So we definitely gotta give him some kind of facial hair. Maybe like, I have this, which is maybe more of like a scruffy look, but I think it kind of suits our sim here. And let's get our sim some hair. And Captain Hook has some very like long curly hair under that hat. It's like past shoulder length. What about this? Okay, hear me out. I think we're kind of on a good track here. I am gonna go in and add a skin detail. I forgot to do that. So we're gonna just add the same one that I've been using. Maybe we can do the one with the bags underneath. I don't know why there's like a weird space in between his hairline on his hair, but I do have something that can kind of like cover it up there. And Captain Hook has some very distinct like eye bags. There's like some purple going on around his eyes. So I think we're gonna give him some eyeliner. I do have this one, which is very subtle. I like using that on like my male sim sometimes. We're gonna give him this. And okay, I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's try and find an outfit. I'm first gonna see if I can find him a hat. Oh my God, wait, there is a pirate hat. It does come in red though. This could maybe be it. Does he have a feather on his hat? He does, he does. So we could either do this one or, oh wait, there is another one right here. Spooky stuff coming through with the hat. This is, okay, we need to we need to keep going here. Let's find our Sim an outfit. And I'm thinking because spooky stuff has the hat, it's gonna have the fit, right? Okay, that's not it. <laughs> is this it? That looks pretty piratey to me. And then I just have to get the boots. Wait, how many pirate, uh, how many pirate outfits are there in this game? Oh, this one. Okay, this is the one I was looking for from Get Famous. I think this is gonna be the one. It also comes with the boots on 
there. We could add some gloves. We're not gonna have the hook, which kind of sucks. Oh, but we could do some of those, like those gloves there. Maybe we'll add some rings, some accessories. I did download this collection from, what was the creator's name? Bacalia, I'll link that down below. They had a whole bunch of like Captain Hook stuff that I downloaded. This ring collection being one of them. But while we're here, I feel like we need to give Captain Hook some like black nail polish. Those ones are also chipped too. So a little bit kind of what we're going for here. And I think I'm going to go in and add some other piercings too. Like I feel like our modern Captain Hook, although this outfit isn't too modern, maybe we'll have to give him another one. But I feel like he would have some like piercings going on. Maybe like these earrings there kind of looking like a hook on there. And I'm going to give him a nose piercing. You know what? Why not? I'm feeling it. It's more so, you know what? I think it's more so this Sim is suiting this stuff, but we are playing the Sims. So, okay, this is going to be outfit number one. I love this Sim so much. We're going to give him one more outfit and I'm going to show you guys what I downloaded because it's so good. It's actually just a shirt that I downloaded this one here and it has the hook. This is again from Bacalia. I, I think I might be mispronouncing that. We do need to give him some pants though. So let's give him maybe like, honestly, I'm kind of feeling those. I like how they tuck into the boots there. I don't know if we should let him keep the hat for more of like the modern look. Like if we get rid of the hat, definitely not something you would see on the streets every day. <laughs> but it is, it is a look. You know what? We're going to roll with it. So here is our Captain Hook Sim in two different fits. We've got the original, more classic looking one and a little bit more of like a punk kind of vibe. I like it. I'm pretty proud of myself so far. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be let's do Ursula. Ursula is the main villain in The Little Mermaid. She's also known as a sea witch. She's evil. She's manipulative, sarcastic, very vain and very confident. Honestly, such an icon. I really want to see a villain origin story of Ursula. But anyway, let's go in and uh, what is happening here? We'll remove all that. We're going to remove the hair. Oh, first we have to give her a name. So let's do Ursula Sea Witch. Oh, no, wait. We're going to have to make her a spellcaster. I really wish you could do this in create a sim without having to make a whole new sim. Because sometimes you're making a sim and you're vibing and then you realize that they should be a spellcaster, but you can't change their occult unless you start from scratch. So, okay, new sim. I'm sorry, Ursula, number one, you got to go. All right, this is gonna be fitting. I was thinking of maybe making her a mermaid because she's an octopus, but that didn't really make sense. She is a, she is a witch, so this one is like the most fitting, I think. And Ursula is a curvy queen. We're gonna play around with these sliders. Oh no, is she gonna be like the werewolf again? Whenever you make occult sims, they will flaunt it and create a sim for so long, like every five seconds. All right, we've got the body type. Let's go and change the skin tone because she's kind of like blue or purple. The website I'm reading says that she is lavender. So we are going to go with like a purple, but I'm going to try and make it very light. We'll see if we can get it more bluey, maybe with like a skin detail. I don't know if that's possible. I feel like that might be a look once we go in and do the eyes. For our traits, we again are going to go evil, but let's also do self-absorbed and either snob or maybe self-assured. She's very confident. I was thinking even flirty, like she's just such a character. And for her eyes, aspiration. She kind of wants to be like the leader of the world. Isn't there an aspiration for that? Oh, I think that's Sims 3. Okay, let's do Chief of Mischief. She's all about pranks and mayhem. She's always like lying to people, trying to get them to take her bargains, but then like flipping it so that it's not a good outcome for them. I think it makes sense. Okay, let's play around with the face. The first thing I'm going to do is change the brows and she has very thin, very expressive eyebrows. Maybe we could do these, but they're literally like up like that and very angry looking. For now, we're gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna bring out her jaw and her cheeks, rounding out her chin a little bit and let's do her eyes. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> These could kind of work. We'll just like raise them up a little bit. And her eye color, she, no, she has very dark eyes. Her nose, she has a very small, like thin nose. So maybe something like this, we can go in and make it even like smaller. Like I'll just bring these down a little bit. And for her lips, again, very expressive, like big mouth, big smile. She needs to look more evil than this. I'm pretty sure there's some skin details we could use. Ooh, here we go. Okay, wait, can you see that under her skin details? I don't think you can, but we need it. Hold on. Oh my God. 
gosh, yes, there we go. We need the lashes. Maybe that's also what we're missing. We're gonna give her a big, like flashy eyelashes like those. She just, she needs to look more mad. Again, the iconic red lip coming back. Let's do that one there. And I feel like we need to even go more with the lips. Okay, her eyeshadow, she wears blue eyeshadow. Maybe we we'll give her something like that. And then for her blush, I don't know. How do you do blush on like lavender skin? Okay, <laughs> I think we've got something here. Let's try and find some hair. We need the white short hair. Honestly, like I think this could work in white. I wish it was a little bit brighter. I wish I had like a custom one with like a really white swatch, like that icy blonde color like that, but not that hair, obviously. I don't know. I think we're gonna have to go with the one we've got. I just wish it wasn't so like gray looking, but this is gonna work. And for earrings, I did find these really cool earrings that we can give for her. Ooh, these here, they have like the octopus tentacles since obviously we can't really give her those in game. At least she can rock them on her earrings. I think she wears purple earrings, so maybe we can match that with those there. And let's try and find her an outfit. I want something that's gonna cover her feet so we can kind of give the illusion that she's got like multiple hiding under there. And ideally, I want to have like the strapless look. I have this one, but we used this one the other day. Ooh, actually this could kind of be a vibe because it's got like that skin on there. It covers her feet. It's kind of like got a fishy, like scaly vibe. I do love this dress. This is a contender for sure. Other options, I mean, I could see her wearing a pant look. I also love this on her, although it is kind of eating her hands there a little bit. I saw someone in my comments say that when that happens, they just say their sim has like pockets in their dress. And I kind of love that idea. There's also this one. I do like that one too, but that one is cutting down here and it looks kind of weird. I think we're gonna have to go with the mermaid cut one that we were wearing. Like this one here, I just feel like it's gonna work. I'm gonna give her a necklace. Ursula wears the seashell necklace. So I actually think we do have that in game. We have that one. We also have this one here. That one there is also really cool though with like the purple gem matching her earrings. I think I'm gonna give her that. The modern take wears a crystal. Final thing, I am gonna give her some red nails. Oh, she has a beauty mark too. So I'm gonna give her that, then we'll be done. There we go. Oh, she's so scary. This is our Ursula the Sea Witch as a Sim in The Sims 4. She looks cool. She definitely looks scary. I think we're kind of on the mark with the expressive face. I think we'll do a couple more. I wanna do another male Sim. We did good with Captain Hook. Let's do, who's another male villain? <gasps> Jafar. Jafar is the villain in Aladdin. He is also very elegant. He's power hungry. He does gain magical abilities. So we actually need to make another spellcaster. Okay, for our traits, we are going to do hot headed. Hot headed probably could have worked for a lot of these too. We're gonna do evil. And he's kind of charismatic. He does have like this front to him. Maybe we'll go outgoing. Sure. Okay, and for our aspiration, basically he wants royalty. He wants to rule over people. Like I wanna do friend of the world, but that is not what it is. It's, it's not it. Maybe we could do the collector one. Items help him in his journey to be evil. Like finding the genie lamp helps him in his mission. We're gonna go with that. All right, let's go and do the face. We're gonna remove the hair, change the eyes because those are really making an impact right now. We'll do like a dark brown. And the ones that I'm picking today aren't completely random. Like I have built rooms for these villains that we're doing today on this channel. So I'll link all the Disney videos down below if you guys wanna check those out. For the eyebrows again very expressive they're like all the way down like this they kind of like curve up a little like that <laughs> let's try these for now again we might come back and change these for the eyes oh he's got eyeliner on too okay we're gonna play with the eye shape a little bit and he has a very long face and also some very like distinct cheekbones okay again a lot of changes have been made i feel i was very close to like giving up but then all of a sudden some Sometimes it just like turns out. So I think it was with the help of the skin detail that I used again with the one that I've been using a lot lately. We'll do the same liner that we gave to Captain Hook. Oh, we need facial hair too. In the movie, he has a mustache and then he also has like a little beard at the bottom too. So maybe we could do that. I think I'm content with the overall look. I did change the brows one more time and Jafar wears a headdress. We are gonna have to go and find one of those. Hopefully we can find something similar. I'm thinking maybe city living could work. Although Jafar's is black with a red gem. I don't think we can get away with the pink and the purple. We might just have to do the 
red. And for his outfit, he wears like robes, very long, like they reach the ground. I don't know if we're gonna find something exact. Let me see. Even, I even looked for custom content for like a Jafar outfit. I cannot find it for the life of me. So this one could work from City Living. There's also this one I was looking at. It's got a little bit of the gold on there like Jafar likes to wear. Ooh, what about this one? That could work. I wish it was like the black and the red combined, but I do like how that looks. I think this one comes with shoes because I didn't put those shoes on, but I mean, we could go with it. I think this one might be my favorite though. I'm gonna put these gloves underneath that just have a little bit of the extra black at the end. Underneath his outfit, it does kind of look like that. So that works. I don't know. We're gonna give, we're gonna give Jafar two outfits as well. I can't decide between this one and the other one. So this is gonna be outfit number one with this one here being outfit number two. All right, so here is our Jafar Sim. We have one more to do, which is going to be Maleficent. So Maleficent is the evil villain in Sleeping Beauty. She's a dark fairy. She practices dark magic. She's very powerful and very scary. Although in the newer live action movies with Angelina Jolie, we kind of see a lighter side to her a little bit. Since she practices dark magic, again, we are going with a spellcasting sim. Cruella and Captain Hook being there in this like friend group, like what the heck is going on? For her traits, we are going to go evil. Maybe like jealous. She's very devious. I'm debating doing erratic. Her emotions are very unpredictable. So you know what? We're just gonna go erratic. <laughs> For her aspiration, we're gonna go public enemy. And let's start to go with the appearance. So taking off the hair, she looked like a night elf from World of Warcraft for a minute. So we're gonna change her eyes again to like kind of a bluey turquoise, similar to Cruella. We're gonna do dark eyebrows. Those are gonna change in a minute. But for the skin, she has a very gray tone to her. In some of the movies, she also has like a bluey skin. So maybe we could do this one. Actually, some of them are green. Okay, wait, maybe we will just go with the gray. All right, let's change the eyebrows. I don't think these are gonna be as expressive as some of the other ones we've seen, but they do still need to look evil. Maybe these ones. For our eyes, I'm thinking about using this preset here. We can make the eyes a little bit bigger, maybe turn them a little bit. Oh, she has some cool ears going on. Wait a minute. Normally they're kind of hidden by her headpiece. I don't have the full one, but I do have the horns. Maybe we'll just give her those ears for now. We need the really high cheekbones, the slim cheeks, kind of like that. And for her mouth, I'm using this preset here and I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit. For her nose, I'm just gonna bring out the bridge a little bit and I feel like this is actually pretty accurate. Let's go and get the skin details on. I'm gonna be using the same one. Actually, I feel like we could get away with like that one with the really dark circles around the eyes. Let's get this sim some makeup. Again, the red lip coming in hot. Ooh, maybe we could do that one or that one could work too. And for the hair, I'm gonna give this sim some hair before we come back and do the horns. There's really only one scene in Maleficent, like the live action one where I can see her hair down and it's kind of like pushed back behind her. Very long. I don't know how she gets it up into that hat. I don't want to use alpha because I haven't used it all day today, but this could work. And then we give the horns like that. And I mean, that is pretty freaking good. I might go in and give this sim a hairline. I have those under skin details. Sometimes if there's just not enough like coming out there for this particular sim, I'll add that. There we go. I'm gonna give her these earrings just because. Oh my God, she doesn't even have lashes on and she still looks as good. That has never happened to me. Normally the lashes are like the first thing that I wanna put on. We could give her these ones. I don't, I wanna give her like very subtle ones. Like maybe these or those. So she still has eyelashes, but they're not like the crazy ones. We'll do a little bit of eyeliner there and let's go and give this Sim an outfit. So again, she also wears like the robes. She even has wings, but because of the hat, I can't give her the fairy wings that I have. Let's see what we can find. We could give her that. That is really pretty on her. I love how it's like longer. She has some scars on her, which I kind of think I'm gonna leave them. Maybe we'll get rid of the ones that look like a bite. We can instead give her like the scratches like that. She's in battle. I also have this one here with like the chains in the back or there's that there with the mesh like underneath the top. But I think this one has to be the winner for me. I'm gonna give her some nails, probably some red nails. The red is very popular among Disney villains. I'm also gonna give her that necklace there. I wish I could give her the wings. If I gave her these, then they completely take off the horns and we need those for this. But I think this is how we're gonna leave our Maleficent. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section down below. I cannot pick. I really liked 
the Captain Hook that we made, but Maleficent was also like a last minute favorite for me. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite today. Let me know any Disney villains you would like to see me do in the future. I'm always down to do more Disney inspired Sims 4 videos. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.